So this is kind of like a coming out party for me. In my career, for the last 10 years, I've actually been hiding. And I've been hiding behind the science and the engineering of posture. So I'm what I would call, or some of my colleagues and friends would call, a spine geek. So I can look at you in the audience and figure out where your posture is and put some numbers on it and angles. I can also take an x-ray of you and measure the, the curvature of the spine and help you make corrections to that so you can straighten up your body. But as I was working on this presentation, I realized, man, there, there's actually people inside of all these spines and x-rays. But I didn't want to deal with people because people and emotions, they're messy. And, and I didn't want to, I, I can't put a number on hatred or fear or depression. So I can't figure it out. So as I was putting this together, I had to say, all right, where's the connection between your body's posture and your emotions and who you are as a person? So posture really is what your mom told you. You stand up straight, right? So when we're dealing with posture, it is actually better to have structured alignment where your head goes over your shoulders, your shoulders are over your hips, hips are over your ankles. You can actually live a pain-free life with better posture. You can perform better in sports. You can perform better in your daily life. You can breathe better and move better. But when we start looking at some of these other misconceptions about posture, we think about where does, where does emotion fit in? So typically we think that emotion only happens up top in our consciousness, right? It doesn't happen throughout our body. But I like to look at this, this old or classical definition of posture as more of a static definition, where things are lining up straight. And that's why you're all gonna sit up straight, right? <laughs> so I like to look at it as more of a dynamic definition. So we have two components of that. One is the external environment, and the other is how you respond to that environment. So the external environment is how you stand on the floor, what your feet feel like when you're standing here, what it feels like to have people around you or forces coming around you and, and other things. So uh, stepping off the curb or falling off your chair or sliding down or standing up, those are all external movements. Your internal aspect of your body is how you respond to those movements. So there's a dynamic interplay between both of those. So let's think about this is a Friday, you guys have an awesome time coming here. Let's think about a typical work day when you get up from bed, your significant other next to you says, okay, you got 15 things to do, you just sat up in bed. So you got 20 things to do today, pick up the laundry, pick up the kids, do all that. So now you're here, you get in your car and you drive and you get pretty angry in traffic, right? You got, especially here in Hoboken. And, it, and then you sit down at your desk for another eight hours, talking on the phone, maybe a couple shots of coffee in the afternoon. And then you get back in your car and after you get back in your car, you go sit on the bike in the gym and you, you spin around a little bit. So in essence, if you can see these postures in yourself, you have to start looking on the outside and say, okay, I am a map of my consistent movements. So if I'm sticking in this posture all day long, how am I molding my body? The dynamic interplay is not working too well because I'm aging faster, my posture and my body are breaking down. So where do emotions fit in? So emotions typically we think are here. But when I looked at the word emotion, it stems from the Latin words of uh, Latin and French roots of to move or to set in motion. So I like to break it up and look at the E as energy. So conscious energy and, and feelings set in motion throughout our entire body. Let's put yourself in a, in a scenario where you had a difficult conversation with your boss or a coworker, and put yourself on the outside. Imagine you had a camera and you can see what you looked like. And you saw yourself, you know, the pit in your stomach when you have to tell someone that you messed up on a project. And you, you hold these postures over and over, right? So do you feel like when you go see your boss or you, you have to tell them about the bad aspect of this project that you're wide open and excited and feeling fired up? No, not at all. You, you get that, that crouched, protective type posture. 
So again, now our emotions become mapped in our posture. So our movements are mapped in our posture, and then our emotions become mapped in our posture. Now let's put it the other side of the coin. Think about someone that you haven't seen in a long time, a close friend, and you know you see her across the room. I'm ready to smash through people and squeeze her as hard as I can. And you can feel that emotion, that energy moving throughout your entire body and your whole system. So we now become a map of our consistent emotions. And our emotions are our responses to all these external circumstances. So what are circumstances? Job, money, relationships, you name it, kids. So our consistent emotions really are dependent on how we're responding to these circumstances because I'm sure all of you could admit, and, and I know myself too, that some circumstances are impossible to change or very, very difficult. So I wanted to come up with a way to say, all right, how do we change our lives and our circumstances immediately and, and not let those circumstances overcome us? So now we look at our emotions mapping our posture, our circumstances mapped in our posture, and our movements mapped in our posture. So really the, 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 the goal is to come up with some kind of access quickly. And I feel that we can access this change in our life immediately through moving our posture and making the change in our life that we want to live. So being able to access that is what I consider movement worth doing. So I know it's early and this is the first talk and we're going to get you guys up and ready to roll. So what I'm going to have you do is I want you to uh, gently stand up out of your chairs Push your chair back, just be careful of your neighbor. So I want you to take notice of where you are. How do you feel? Are your, is your body swaying to one side over the other? Do you feel your head traveling real far forward? Are your hands covered here? Are they crossed? Are they at your side? Are your palms forward? Is there any pain anywhere? Okay, so take survey that. So now, we're going to run a little bit of a, an experiment, and this is the access to, to changing your circumstances immediately. So what I'd like you to do is keep your feet shoulder width apart. And with your toes, I want you to grab the ground as hard as you can. Good. And now let go of your toes. And now imagine that you have a point in the bottom of each heel. And I want you to take your heels and twist them into the ground. Good. So now where do you feel that? In your butt, right? So you feel your butt get tight. Now I want you to tighten it again. So that roots you to the ground. That gives you the support you need to deal with these circumstances. Now, next I want you to imagine that I have a string from your back of your belly button. And I'm pulling that. So that tightens up your core even more. So now your, your whole lower body is fully engaged and rooted and supported in the ground. Next I want you to take your hands. Open up your palms. Good. Spread your fingers apart and reach for the ground. Good. And open and feel the weight of the world come off of your shoulders. Next, I want you to imagine that you have a tennis ball under your chin and on your chest. Don't let it fall. Good. Hold it. I know you get tired. It's all right. Now. If you have hair, or if not, pretend I'm pulling your head up, but if you have hair, go pretend that I'm actually pulling your hair up so you have a big, strong, grounded posture. Good. Now feel the root of your posture and breathe. Good. And relax. So immediately, now you have access. Whatever circumstances are coming at you, whether it's your job or your relationships or anything along those lines, you have the ability to now bring your posture to this position and get back to controlling your emotions so that you can then dictate your circumstances. And this is movement worth doing. Thank you.